Welcome to the Bob and Tam Show. Somebody said I didn't say ding lately. So we'll see if they like it or they don't like it. I took it out because I thought it was getting kind of corny. So today, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about extended warranties. You know, I've seen a few videos out here on this, and I don't know how many people actually have bought and used them and things like that. Well, I have. We also found out some really neat things about the Harley-Davidson warranty that we're going to tell you about today. So stay tuned and find out what we have to say about your extended warranty. So the first thing you got to think about is, hey, I'm buying that new motorcycle. Hey, you can do this with anything. Motorcycles, cars, RVs, boats, stereos, whatever you want to buy, you can buy an extended warranty. There you go. The reason they sell those things is all about money. It's got nothing to do with about giving you a peace of mind that you bought something and this is going to be an extra warranty. Typically, the warranty that's on something, if it's 90 days, if it's a year, two years, five years, whatever it is, typically, if there's something typically going to go wrong with that product, it's going to happen in that amount of time. Or the day after. <laughs> yeah. So normally that's the way it works in most situations. So we're going to tell you a little bit about warranties that we bought. And then we're going to explain a little bit about the Harley Davidson warranty that we found out. We're going to let you know that at the end. So stay tuned all the way to the end so you can hear <laughs> a money saving idea. So today, here's what we're going to talk about. So we bought several bikes and we bought extended warranties on them. So my very first bike that I bought was Owen Ultra Classic. I bought it out in Las Vegas. Used bike, had about 12,000 miles on it. We should have knew something the day I bought it. Took it out for a test drive and the speedometer quit working. The gear down inside the uh, transmission there had broke. Found out with the extended warranty, like I said, this was used bikes, I bought extended warranty. You do not have to take it to the Harley Davidson dealer to get it done. The only stipulation is you have to take it to a licensed dealer, which means it has to be somebody that has a business license. Or an authorized Harley Davidson. Well, they don't even have to be an authorized no. Harley Davidson. The warranty actually says, which will be something I'll get to in a minute to show you where a lot of this information's at that I'm going from. You don't, if it's the factory warranty, yes. Extended warranty, no. In this case, I took it to another shop that I knew, a guy that had been working on people's bikes and they recommended him. I didn't, at that time, I didn't care too much for the dealer that had, uh, that was locally. I didn't really know him. So I found this guy, ended up being, it was a crack manifold. Uh, I ended up having several different things go wrong with the bike in the first month. It took a little while to get it authorized because they had to send somebody out to look at the parts, da 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 blah, 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 blah. But it was warranty and it cost me 50 bucks. Well, and they had so much in such a short period of time, like you said, within the first 30 days, there was like, there was a speedometer, the crack manifold, and some other stuff in the engine, and they were saying something's up with this, but it was all legit. Yeah, it wasn't performance or anything else, it was all stock. So there's a point that I made money on. We bought her a Sportster. Never used it, okay? I bought another 09 and ended up being some moron, which is nobody that we recommend, which I'm not even sure if the guy's in business anymore. He started making my motor knock. I think he redlined my motor when he was dynoing it. And it started to have a tick and ended up being the, the piston rod had gotten loose and it was slapping around down in the bottom of the motor. Same thing there. I ended up having a bunch of warrant. Same guy did the work for me. But they had to wait for somebody to come out. But one of the neat things about that one was the warranty was just about up anyway. I went ahead and had all performance parts put in. He gave me credit for all those parts. So I really only, and he ate the labor because that was already being charged on the factory parts. And I got my motor all fixed up. It only cost me less than a thousand bucks to get everything that I wanted done. Thank you, warranty company. So that's another advantage of going to somebody independently. So you can always take a bike back to an authorized hard dealer and get it serviced there. Or if you buy a Honda or a Goldwing, or Honda is a Goldwing, uh, <laughs> Kawasaki, whatever you're Yamaha, buying and you're getting an extended Star. warranty, read that warranty paper. Most of them say you do not have to go back to the dealership. That's right. So those are some of the things that you want to think about on extended warranty. Now here's one of the reasons why people want to buy a start extended warranty. I have an ultra classic that I bought brand new in 2014. It's a $40,000 bike. When you're looking at that bike, you might go, hey, you know, I really don't want to have any repairs for seven years on that thing. I got the two-year factory warranty, five-year extended warranty. Hey, if I pay this money up front, I can pretty much ride for seven years and not really worry about anything. Now, the bad news is you can't really do a whole lot to the bike. And I added it to the financing. You know, now I'm paying interest on top of what you paid for that warranty. Now, I got lucky I paid $2,000 for it. When I look on the internet, the average price is $28.95. But I have found some people that I've looked at some Facebook groups and some other groups that have said they've spent as much as 6000 
So, you know, these dealers can charge you just about anything you want unless you're in a state that it's regulated. There is a handful of states because I've talked to a couple of people when I was talking before about getting a discount. They said in their state they don't discount it because it's already a set price that they have to get. Okay, and I'm okay with that. I'm just talking about, I know what California is, I know what Arizona is, I know what Nevada is, I know what Illinois is. Those are the states I've lived in, so those I know how it works. I put a straight pipe on it, I got an SNS pipe out, got rid of the converter, and I got a tuner on it now. Still under factory warranty for a couple more months. Something goes wrong with that motor. I've got the header pipe, and I can unplug that tuner. Throw that header pipe back on, and down the dealer it gets. If you take it to the dealer and you let Harley install their factory approved parts, that would be covered under the extended warranty. That's what the warranty place tells me. Okay, so here's the secret of it. If you go out and pay cash for that warranty, that's not a bad deal. You pay all that money, you're making all those principal payments for whatever you finance for three years or six years or whatever you're financing, you're paying all those fees on that. If you took that $2,000, put it in the bank, and drew out of it as you needed it, you'd probably be way money ahead. ahead. But my second bike, yes, it ended up being about a $4,000 bill for the, for the warranty company. It cost me 50 bucks plus my performance parts. And that's it. That one I came out really smelling good. I got a good deal on it. But my Ultra Classic I have today that I paid $2,000 for the extended warranty, it's never had any extended warranty work done. And that's got about, it expires in August. So that tells you. I'm going to take it down to the dealer. I've got a clunking noise in it before I get my Legends suspension we're going to get next. Sturgis. And we'll talk about that too when it comes up. Here's the real kicker on why we know something about this company. It's actually called ESP and you can try, you can find it on the internet. I'm going to put a link down here and I'm also going to give you a phone number you can call. So how we found out about this was we sold her bike. Tam, you know, she had the accident. I ended up getting her a 2014 Street Glide Special. We promised that it still had a year and a half warranty Left on line. the bike. So when the guy was advertising it, I had already put a Craigslist up. So we threw in that warranty. That was part of the deal. Well, when he bought the stuff, the guy said, hey, can I get the warranty information? We needed to sign it over to him. Well, there's a whole big long story about that, which we're not going to go on here. If we ever get our Patreon page, we'll tell you about some screwed up dealers, the Harley Davidson dealers. There's one guy that owns a bunch of them that's, that screwed us. And so, in her deal, she ended up getting two different paperwork because they screwed us the first time and then they didn't screw us quite so bad the second time. So, when we went to go look for the warranty, we could only find the original one, which was voided out called on that number they said there was no such that there's a number across your contract that number didn't didn't exist that's because the dealer voided it out so then i'd say we'll call them back because she already had the phone number of the company goes there any chance we could buy a one and a half year warranty for the bike well then when she gave me our name it ended up being a whole other story they found our warranty on the bike and it was still current it was okay so it worked out but one of the things they so told they gave me the right number so yeah. i could give to the new guy yeah so but what was the really neat thing that they told us was you know that warranty now this was about two years ago now a year and a half to two years ago we could have bought that warranty from this company for 695 dollars for five years which would have been the harley davidson esp warranty right here's the phone number here's the link when you go buy that bike, now you can't finance that. You can't put it on with your Harley bill. You can't do it with this. You can't do it you with that. You pay cash for it. That's right. Or put a credit card or whatever you want to do. So there's a situation that you have to look at. If you've got the money to buy a bike, then you might want to go this way if you want a warranty. If you don't want a warranty, who cares? So that's what we're going to talk about, about extended warranties. Is it a good investment? That's up to you. You have to decide if you do you need a peace of mind that when you're riding that bike or car or whatever you buy that hey I don't have any major things like a, the Harley Davidson one it's a fifty dollar deductible. Now there is a clause which I didn't call the company this ESPN ESP said they will cover performance parts, but the way I read it was if you did performance parts to the engine they would only cover the drivetrain. So. If you're interested in that, call that phone number, do some checking on it, and you can find out and you can let us know. Right now, I'm not looking to buy a new bike. My warranty runs up here in August. That's the end of it. I'm not going to extend it. Uh, I'm okay with buying my own tires, and I've got the road hazard on the tires, and we bought everything the last time. Her bike, we did the whole thing. We never had tire warranty before, but I did get a free tire this year, uh, last year. I got a free tire on the bike. And I got a nail in it, and can't fix a tire. Can't fix motorcycle tires. You're supposed to always replace them. So I got a nail in it, went to the dealer, Took me about an hour, but I walked out the door and he said, no charge. I said, thank you. So it paid up 50 bucks or whatever. A couple hundred dollars for a tire for a $2,000 warranty. There you go. So there's your decision. It's all up to you. Do you want the peace of mind? 
You can finance it through your thing and make more larger payments. You can pay cash for it, or you can say, no, I'll just take my chance. It's a new product. It should go, anything goes wrong with it should happen in the first two years, unless you're buying a used bike and you don't know much about it. So that's where we're going to leave you at today. Think about it. And let us know down here in the comments what you guys think about a warranty. Have you had a warranty? Have you made money on that warranty? Did you not get anything out of that warranty? Did you have good service? What did you pay for it? That's the kicker. <laughs> they tried to charge her $3,000 for hers on, her, on hers, and we lowered it down to $2,000 because I bought that's all I paid for mine, and they had a fit. Tried to say it was below their cost, which we know their cost is less than $695. And there's a whole other thing about financing, too, which we'll talk about on another day about fi in-house financing. So thanks for coming along today. Give us your comments on what you think about extended warranties. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share us with your family and friends. Give us a big thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications. And we'll see you on the next video. See you tomorrow. Or maybe in a day or so. See ya. See ya.